my name is Jonathan Kelly and I teach design and technology. My name is Brad Rotalic uh, from Australia. Um, I'm teaching uh, design and technology at HIS. So in our technology workshop, we have set it up where we have traditional tools and we make them easily accessible to students, this wheels. Um, so we can take it, um, we could take it inside the room, even outside. So you have all the traditional tools from like your tenon saw for wood. We've got hacksaws, safety goggles, cutting knives, etc. We have over here uh, a laser printer. And over here in front of you, you will see five 3D printers. Within here, we have more 3D printers. These are the older ones. They're still being utilized. They're smaller. We have a pillar drill. We have a bench drill. We have here a vacuum former. Um, so this is like an example of a vacuum former. It will start with a flat sheet and we all go on a mould and we can make uh, different shapes using this. This is a very useful tool. Um, and we have here a bandsaw. And we take the health and safety very seriously, as you can see the marks. We, adults would use this. Um, we would wear these. Um, it's quite loud, we shut the door. And we can use it for like cutting. the stick So in design, um, we're very much trying to um, instill design thinking, uh, creativity uh, and problem solving skills in the students that we're teaching. Um, and the way that we're doing this is in uh, grade seven currently, um, we've got them coming up with a solution to a real world problem, which is a global urban housing crisis, where students were required to uh, research the problem. Um, they analyse some pre-existing design ideas and then they came up with their own, developed their own solutions to the problem. And they're currently in the criteria C, which is uh, actually modeling their um, final design. As you can see here, we're in the uh, making process for our grade seven classes, who have been tasked with um, coming up with a design solution uh, to the uh, global urban housing crisis. We specifically looked at uh, Hong Kong and research the amount of people that wish to live in, in cities and the lack of affordable housing uh, that is there. And the students were tasked with coming up with a design uh, solution to this problem. So I designed this based on our uh, topic, which is about the urban housing crisis. So what we're trying to design is something that saves a lot of space. And I think I made this the way it is because it's kind of like the shape is not very normal and I think it could be stacked. My initial thought when I made this was actually about like a type of cookie box that I saw in the supermarket and I thought it would look really cool. My, my initial design was like actually like this. So it didn't have these parts and these parts and it didn't have this roof kind of thing. So I made it vertical and I wanted to stack the vertical ones, but I decided on this one instead because it's a bit more innovative. And uh, yeah, I also uh, put some more parts for functionality like these. This is my design and I'm like planning to give it for like the two floors. And the first floor is for like um, working and having um, like working in a kitchen. And the second floor is for living I'm batting, but I'm still working on it. It's not done yet. The way we teach in design is very much about students' inquiry. So under those topics, students will explore and express themselves in different creative ways. So you will see students' outcomes, which could be product, digital, even robotic solutions. We've had students in the past um, come up with different work. In addition to that, they have to produce a portfolio.
I'm making for my cultural expression is a very uh, uncommon instrument. It's called the Zhong Ran, and not a lot of people know about it. And basically, this was my first module, and it's not as good as this one. Uh, basically, I made this more bigger, and I think that a square would like more sustain it. And now I'm working on the frets of the instrument, so I can actually play notes on it. I made this hanging sculpture thing of uh, the 12 zodiac animals and I made this stuff by um, using the laser printer and laser printing them, engraving them and then cutting out a bunch of circles. So my approach to teaching um, design is very much about getting the um, engagement levels up so kids hopefully having fun and uh, learning without realising that they're sort of learning these foundational skills in design. Um, you know, there's a bit of explicit teaching around skills, um, but then the kids very much take ownership of their own um, design journey through the design process. And uh, hopefully, you know, they all end up with something completely different at the end of the, of the unit. So it's very much student-centered. Um, and as a teacher, my job is basically to get the best out of that student, to motivate them and so that the student uses that research that's pertinent to them and then they take it forward and obviously I introduce the skills that they need to be able to deliver to achieve.